We here in the University of Limerick will encourage neurodiversity. We encourage you to come and bring your fire, your ambition and your will to the university and to create your own unique world. I have a particular interest in the measurement and management of risk in financial markets. And whether you realise it or not, it's a very important topic for all of us, given that in 2016 we are still feeling the effects of the most recent global financial crisis, which occurred all the way back in late 2008. I'd like to talk to you about the connection between brain and body wellness. In our work here at the University, we deliver a whole load of programmes in groups and individually on mindfulness. And so I thought it might be interesting to explore where we might have some difficulty around our practice of mindfulness. I start my talk with a question, how on earth did I get into electromicroscopy? And one of my central research interests is victims in the Irish criminal process. Can music, dance, theatre be research? I'm listening to a Britney Spears song and I'm dancing with my family. It's a really happy occasion. Yet the exact same song can and has been used as part of sonic torture in Guantanamo Bay. It's the same song, it's a radically different experience. Good music or bad music? Hi, my name's Anne McPhail. I'm Head of the Department of Physical Education and Sports Sciences at the University of Limerick. I'm here today to introduce you to a programme, the Sewell programme. So as a chemical engineer, it's very much a multidisciplinary discipline, but I really focus on powder engineering, which looks at powders, whether it be pharmaceutical powders or even dairy powders. I'm here today with two of my group, um, Shayan and Jose, who are going to tell us a little bit more about the techniques that they use to build models for these neurotoxic proteins. And it's our hope that we can use these models, once they're good enough, to actually design new drugs that have a hope of actually stopping diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's in their tracks. I'd like to talk today about fan relationships with David Bowie and more particularly about fan responses to his passing in January 2016. This UL talk is about an introduction to policy studies in education, in particular critical policy studies. About six million years ago, Homo sapiens evolved from our ape-like ancestors and developed the characteristics that we associate with humans today, such as the hands, legs, arms. And Fat Man really has only come about in the last 40 years, where obesity has become very prevalent. At the Department of Life Sciences in the University of Limerick, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying actually to study the nutritional value of food with a particular focus on the food lipids. Lipids is the, is the fat, as we call it in lay, terminology uh, of, um, of food, but lipids have uh, lots of different good functions. We need to challenge the prevailing consensus that scans and imaging are the solution to back pain. And we need to remember that while muscles and discs and bones are part of the picture of back pain, essentially we're treating people. And even if that makes our life a bit more complicated, that's the challenge we face. <laughs>